Hi, I'm Magnus Andersson. In this demo, I'll show you how Nutanix Era can be integrated with VMware vRealize Automation to deploy a PostgreSQL database and its associated virtual machine. We use the vRealize Automation XAS or Anything as a Service concept to call a vRealize Orchestrator workflow which will take care of the provisioning for us. This is a typical day one operation. First, I log into vRealize Automation and in the catalog, I have two available items, MariaDB provisioning and PostgreSQL provisioning. I'll select PostgreSQL provisioning. The form layout follows the error layout, so you'll have the same options as when using the error UI. The initial tab is about your database VM, including database VM name, database VM description, software, compute, a network profile, SSH key, and time zone. Second tab is about your database and you'll need to fill out database name, database description, database user password, database parameter profile, database size, database listener port. If you want the command to be executed before and or after the database is created you can do so. I'll just echo something into file to demonstrate the capability here. Third and last tab is about your time machine. Here you provide information about the time machine name, time machine description, SLA, daily snapshot at time, number of snapshots per day, log catch up every X minute, when to take weekly and monthly snapshots, and finally, when the quarterly snapshot happens. There might be situations where you don't want the time machine, and then you just select the SLA none and no time machine will be created with the associated database. Click submit and wait for the provisioning process to be completed. The provisioning workflow will send you an email notification including information about who requested, what type of database and when, the names requested for the database VM, the database and the time machine. The provisioning progress can be monitored either via vRealize Automation UI, the ERA UI, as well as the vRealize Orchestrator interface. Now we're using the ERA UI to monitor the progress. Here I've also added the vRealize Orchestrator workflow log section at the bottom of the screen. Now the provisioning is completed and I'll switch over to the vRealize Orchestrator workflow which constantly checks once a minute the provisioning status via the ERA API. What we want to see is operation status 5, which means that the error completed the provisioning successfully. Quick verification in the vRealize automation the UI shows that the provisioning was successful. The provisioning workflow will send you an email notification when the database provisioning is completed. The email will include information about the database name, database server name, time machine name, and also the database server IP address. An email notification will also be sent out if, for whatever reason, the provisioning workflow fails. Now let's verify that the database and time machine were created as per our request. I'm accessing the ERA UI databases and sources view and clicking the db underscore postgresql underscore zero one database. This takes me to the view including information about the database, the database server, we can see that the time zone says Europe Stockholm as per our request, time machine, software profiles being used and also tags if applicable. Access the time machine by clicking the tm underscore postgresql underscore zero one link. Here we can see that the SLA is bronze and has a schedule with the following configuration. Daily snapshot at 3.05 am, two daily snapshots, log catch up every 120 minutes, weekly snapshots on Tuesday, and monthly snapshots on the 10th. Final verification step will be to access the database server using SSH and connect to the IP included in the notification email as well as in the error UI. I'll use the private key corresponding to the public key provided during the provisioning. After successfully logging in, I'll switch to the Postgres user and accessing the databases using PSQL. I'll list the databases 
and switch to the db underscore postgresql underscore zero one database created per our provisioning request. There are no tables in the current database, so I'll create a table called error demo, and now it shows up when I list available tables. This concludes the Eravia VRealize automation demo. Thanks for watching.